so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Flippy! Hey! It's me, Flippy! And today, we're here at Dogwood Canyon Nature Park in Lampy, Missouri. <laughs> yeah! Here, you can go trout fishing! Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, it's so much fun to see fish, catch fish, and release them safely back into the water. So they keep on swimming and having fun. <laughs> Let's go find a creek and some fishies. Whoa. Whoa, we did it. We found a creek. <laughs> Ooh, you see any fish in the water? Hmm. Ooh, <laughs> I see a leaf and see some bugs Ooh, and some plants, hmm. but don't see any fish. <laughs> well, I think if we keep looking, Keep your eyes open and we're sure to find a fish. <laughs> okay, let's keep looking, come on. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. It's so beautiful here. You see the waterfall? Whoa, <laughs> yeah, it's a small waterfall in the creek. I bet there are some fish down there. Keep your eyes open. Maybe we'll see a really big fish. <laughs> or maybe a teeny tiny fish. <laughs> I don't know, let's look. Whoa, look at what it is. It's a waterfall. Oh, I bet some really big, beautiful fish live by this waterfall. <laughs> oh, let's go see. Whoa, check it out. Whoa, rainbow trout. Whoa. You see how big those rainbow trout are? Yeah, these are some really big fish. Yeah, rainbow trout can be up to 30 pounds. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's really big. Ooh. And do you know why rainbow trout are called rainbow trout? Hmm, <laughs> look closely. They're so colorful, see? <laughs> There's blue on that one and some red on that one. Ooh. I think I see some green on that other one. <laughs> oh, and yellow too. <laughs> yeah, they're so colorful. Hmm, I like to be colorful too. <laughs> oh, and that reminds me, rainbow trout love cold water. <laughs> well, that makes sense why they like being next to the cool water here in the creek and by the waterfall. <laughs> I like the cold, but <sighs> I need a jacket. <laughs> oh, look at them swim. Whoa, <laughs> hello fish. Hello, fishies! <laughs> well, yeah, they're going really fast. Rainbow trout are the fastest freshwater fish. Oh, they love swimming around and jumping. They can even jump four feet in the air. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I like to go fast and jump, and I do like to be colorful. Ooh, hey, how about let's act like the rainbow trout? Woohoo! Okay, stand up with me and go really fast and jump and move like the fish. Woohoo! Oh yeah, me and the fish. Whoa, <laughs> that was really fun being a rainbow trout. But you know what else would be really fun? Yeah, going fishing and catching a fish. <laughs> hey, that would be fun, but I think I need a little help. Hmm, bet we can find someone to teach us. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, it looks like there's some more fish over here. Ooh, maybe this would be a really good place to go fishing. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. Look, I see someone. Oh, I bet they can help teach us how to fish. <laughs> Let's go say hi. Oh, hi there. I'm Flippy, what's your name? Hi, I'm Jim. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Jim. <laughs> well, we've been admiring all the beautiful fish and I was hoping to go fishing today. Do you think you could teach me how? I think so. Okay, great. Well, what's the first thing to be a fisherman? Well, actually, you need some equipment. Oh, um, okay. I just happen to have some here. Whoa. Whoa, this what's is, that? This is, called a, this is called a fishing vest. Whoa, oh, thank you. And it goes on, and they have a little pocket so you can put your, your tackle in there. Oh, check it out. My very own fishing vest. <laughs> well, now I really feel like a fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a fisherman. <laughs> well, what other equipment will we need? Well, we need a fishing pole. Oh, okay. Whoa, and I like this fishing pole because look, it's orange. 
<laughs> yeah. Whoa, that's cool. Yeah, and this is called a spinning reel. Whoa, check it out. Yeah. You see this? A spinning reel right there. Whoa. And is this the fishing line? Yeah, that's a fishing line. And it's really almost clear so that doesn't the fish can't see it. Whoa, that's so, so cool. So we can fool them. And this is <laughs> and this is called the lure. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, that lure. Whoa, that looks so cool. And I bet when this is in the water, it looks pretty sparkly. <laughs> it does. It, the little spinner goes around and around and it flashes in the sun. Whoa! <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and it makes little vibrations in the water, little noises that Whoa. the fish can hear. Yeah, and I bet they like that a lot. Yeah, you come swimming over. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, they do like it. And is this where you hold the fishing rod? Yeah, you hold it with one of your fingers through there. Okay. And then one finger up here that can grab the line. Okay. And just roll that over. And then you push it forward. And when you go forward, you release your release the finger and it okay. lets the line come off the reel. Oh, well, that sounds easy enough. You can do that? I think so. But I also saw this. <laughs> it's a net. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Ah! Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> well, I think this is for the fish, right? Well, yes, actually, <laughs> it's so that we can get them out of the water. That's kind of far down there to get them out of the water. And yeah, sometimes you... you can't just lift them out because they might break the line. Oh yeah, and you don't want to fall in either. <laughs> so you use the net to scoop them up in the water and then you can get them out and take the hook out. Well, maybe you could show me how to cast the line and I can hold the net and help net it out of the water. <laughs> oh. Sure, I would like that. Okay, here, I'll hold the net and let's see if we can catch a fish. <laughs> All right, are okay. you ready? Yeah, I'll stand over here. Okay. <laughs> here so, we go. Gonna grab the line, gonna cast. <laughs> Whoa, look at it Whoa. go. Whoa, it's spinning through the water. <gasps> Whoa, looks like the fish are liking it. Whoa. <laughs> we got one. Whoa. That look was so go. fast. Oh, Whoa. it came unhooked. Oh. Whoa, that was close, yeah. Oh, there's another one. Oh. <laughs> we got one, yeah. I'm gonna see if I can catch him in my net. Boy, Whoa. look at him, splashing, jumping. Whoa, yes. here we go. There you go, good job. Oh, look, oh, we caught a fish. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. It looks like it's a rainbow trout. Yeah, here, I'll let you take it. You wanna take... let me take the hook out? Yeah, that'd be yeah. great. Okay. Yeah, rainbow trout are really, really colorful fish. Yes. They're all different okay, colors, like we got the hook red out. and green. Okay, Whoa. let me get my hands wet. Yeah. <laughs> we don't. Yeah, we want our hands wet if we're gonna touch a fish. <laughs> there we Whoa, go. Oh, look at him. Yeah, look. It's the fish's tail and Whoa, what are those right here? That's called his gill plate. Wow. And it's a male. Whoa, it's so colorful, see? The See red that? gill plate. They get like that in the fall when they're spawning. The males get really colorful. Whoa. <laughs> and look, it has a lot of spots. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> so we're going to have to get this guy back in the water, though. Whoa. Uh-oh. Whoa, uh -oh. <laughs> Whoa dance a fish. <laughs> get him okay. back in the net. Yeah, there we, we go. better put him back in the water. Okay. Whoa. Here you go. Just watch him swim away here. Oh, here you go. Oh. There, he's doing better. Whoa, look Come at him on. go. Aw. <laughs> Bye-bye, little fish. <laughs> Yeah, those rainbow trout, they really like swimming through the water, and it's important for them to be sent back into the water so that they can breathe through their gills. <laughs> well, I'll see you later, little fishy. <laughs> well, you are really good at catching fish with your fishing rod. <laughs> well, I bet you can do it. Well, you think I could try? Sure. Okay, maybe I'll try this time, and do you think you could help me yes. net it? <laughs> okay, here we go. So, the first things first, we have to hold it like this. See? Ooh. Is that right, Jim? That's perfect. Oh, and then we want to put our finger on the line and flip this little, hmm, what yeah, do you call that? The bail. The bail? The bail? Whoa, yeah. See the bail? Oh, that silver part. And then, uh-oh. Uh <laughs> we want to cast the line. Here we go. Ready? Oh, good cast. Whoa, Whoa. that was really far. <laughs> okay, we put the bail down and we start to slowly bring it back. Okay, and now we want the spinner to spin. And this time I'm gonna hold it oh, up. Oh, you got him. Whoa, whoa. There you go. Here we go. All Reel right. him in, reel him in. Whoa. Boy, he's fighting. Here we go. Oh, he's coming. You got him. Oh, yeah, we got him. Whoa, here, I'll hold the net. <laughs> You could help take out the hook. Okay. Whoa, I caught my very own fish. You did it, Whoa. you did it. 
yeah, it's really fun catching the fish, and it's really nice too to release them back into the water so they can keep being really swimmy and going really fast. Whoa, that one's so shiny, look. Oh, yeah, Whoa. Not, <laughs> but this is a female. You notice he's not as red as the other one. Oh yeah, he's kind of yeah. white colored on the yeah, belly. Yeah, kind of white on the belly. Whoa, well, we better put him back. <laughs> bye bye, little fish. <laughs> Oh, Jim, I see there's a little waterfall over there. Oh, where does all the water come from? <laughs> well, we have springs in this park. The water comes right up out of the ground. Whoa. And, and bubbles up, and it's nice and cold. Whoa, so I bet the fish love it. <laughs> that's what creates the whole creek, is the springs. Wow, that's amazing. And rainbow trout love cold water, so <laughs> that's why they're here. <laughs> well, Jim, I also noticed you had some other fishing rods. Yeah. Right over here. There's one, and whoa, two. Yeah. What kind of fishing rods are these? Well, these are called fly rods. Oh, fly rods. And because <laughs> they call the lures flies, okay. and flies are very small, so this is a special rod designed to throw little tiny flies like this. Oh yeah, look, there's a lure right here. Yep. See, it's a teeny tiny little lure, <laughs> just like a little fly buzzing around. <laughs> whoa. And it looks a little different, right? The, this part right here. The fly reel, that's the reel that holds the line. Yeah, it looks mm -hmm. a little different from that other rod. Yeah, <laughs> and the line's different too. It's bright, bright green and it's big, really Whoa. fat. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a little heavier too. Well, do you think you could show me how to use a fly rod? Sure. Well, first you just unhook it like you did. Okay. And get it unwrapped, there you right go. Right on like that. So look, there Whoa. you go. <laughs> Got a little bit wrapped up. Yeah. <laughs> It happens. Yeah. Okay. Now, once you get it up like that, you lay, throw the line out in the water a little bit. Okay. Just like that. Okay, here, let and, me unwrap it a bit. Yeah, I can help you well, that. Well, thanks, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Now, let some line out. Okay. Whoa. There you go. <laughs> Whoa, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> there, once you have some line out, you Bring the rod back and you stop it right about here. Okay. And then you roll it back forward like this until the fly goes right in the water like that. Oh, okay. There you go. Here, yep. let's see if we can try. Give and it then a try. Once it goes down, I just reel it back in. You, well, you watch that float and see if it goes under. If the fish take it and grab it, it'll go. It'll go down, and then you then you pull the fish in. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> we'll go up and then down. Yep. Oh. That's it. Whoa, that was a little tricky. <laughs> nope. I'll try again. Do it, try again. Here we go. I'll go up. Yep. There it is. Now just let it sit. Now watch that float. And if you see it go down, that's when you that's when you jerk the fish in. Go, He's, go, whoa, go. Here we go. Pull it up hard. Pull it up hard. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> he, <laughs> he got, got away. He got away. <laughs> okay. Try well, it again. Definitely takes a lot of patience doing fishing. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. See if you can do that cast again. Okay, here we go. We'll go up and over. Okay. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa look at that big one. thing. Whoa. My goodness, that's a big one. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> whoa, this is a really big one. I <laughs> think I better stick with the net. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, here we go. Here we go. Whoa, look, Jim's reeling him in. I'm gonna pick up the fish with my net so we can see him. Whoa. This fish is enormous. It's gigantic. It's huge. <laughs> Look. Whoa. Here you go. Wow, Come I'm on. gonna need a good net, man. Whoa, yeah. Oh, look, he's tangled up in the line. He's coming in though, you ready? Here you go. Hey, little fish. You got him. Whoa. <laughs> oh, he's heavy. Whoa, he's so heavy. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Check it out. Whoa. Wow. Jim, how big is this fish? This fish is about four pounds or Whoa. more. Four pound yeah, fish. Yeah, about That's 23 inches. Whoa, 23 wow. inches. Look at him. Whoa, look at the size <laughs> of this fish. Hi, little guy. <laughs> well, thanks for coming up here with us. <laughs> Whoa, look better at that. send it back to the water. <laughs> yeah, we better get him back in there. Here we go. There you go, back into the net. He's gonna do it. There and back to the water you go. Ooh, there you go. Just let him breathe a little bit. <laughs> and once he, Here starts, he goes. starts kicking around, we'll let him go back. Yeah. Just like that. There you go. Perfect. There you go, little fishy. Bye-bye. <laughs>
<laughs> Whoa. Good job. That was awesome. Yeah, that was the biggest fish ever. <laughs> well, thank you so much for teaching me about fly fishing and using a fishing rod. <laughs> I feel like a real fisherman. Well, I guess what? I have a surprise for you. A surprise for me? Yeah. Whoa. I got this little rod for you to practice with. Whoa, check it out. It's for me, my very own fishing practice rod. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. It's flippy, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, it's orange and blue. And this is probably a very good rod to practice with because it's safe. It has a bow tie instead of a hook. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Jim. You're welcome. I'll see you soon. I'll see ya. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. I had so much fun finding a creek with some rainbow trout. Yeah, meeting Jim and learning how to fish and fly fish and getting my very own Flippy Kid Casters fishing rod. <laughs> well, this isn't a real fishing rod, but it's great for practice. <laughs> yeah, I don't think fish like to eat bow ties. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready for some more practice. I wonder if we'll catch something. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, looks like we caught something. I think it's, I think it's a boot. <laughs> well, let's try again, see if we catch a fish. Here we go. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, it's, it's a potato. <laughs> That's pretty silly, but I think this time we're definitely going to catch a fish. Here we go. And, whoo, <laughs> let's see. <gasps> it's a fish! Yeah! A silly fish! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I! -P -P -I. Flippy, good job! <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. I'm gonna keep practicing. Ooh, here we go. Wait a minute, I think we got another one. Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. And today we get to go on this really big boat. Whoa, it's enormous. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited because you and I are here at Pier Dolphin Cruises in St. Petersburg, Florida. And we get to explore and learn about all kinds of sea creatures and maybe see some dolphins. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> hey, we made it onto the boat. <laughs> yeah, and this boat is awesome because it's not a regular boat. This is a really big boat for lots of people. It's called a catamaran. Yeah! Look at all the seats! <laughs> Whoa! And look at this over here! Yeah! This is a really giant net! Woo! <laughs> but this net, this isn't for catching fish. No, this net is really important in case you drop something over the side. You can just pick it up, woo! <laughs> so it doesn't get lost. Woo! <laughs> Okay, we'll put this net back here. Whoa, and check it out. Yeah, it's a giant brush. <laughs> so silly, this brush isn't a toothbrush. No, this brush is really good for cleaning the boat. You can scrub it nice and clean from dirt or maybe if there are barnacles. Yeah, we'll scrub like this. <laughs> <laughs> Squeaky clean! Yeah! Okay, we'll put the brush back. I think we did enough cleaning for today. Whoa, let's see what else there is. Whoa, do you see it? Look at this! The ceiling is my favorite color orange! <laughs> yeah! Whoa, and this is a really important ceiling. Yeah! It has a lot of life vests. Look at it. Whoa. Yeah, these life vests are super important because if you're ever in the water, they help you to float. 
You can put them on just like this. Hello. And then you take a clip. And then you're all clipped in and can say super safe. <laughs> yeah. But look, it's some captain's hats. Whoa. <laughs> One hat and two hat. Whoa. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa. Look, it's my friend, Captain Christian. And he is a real life captain. <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. Uh, but what is a captain exactly? Well, it's a very important job. We drive the boat around. We make sure everybody's safe, and we make sure everybody has a great time on our boat. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a really awesome job. And maybe one day, when you grow up, you can be a captain too. <laughs> yeah. Well, Captain Christian, it looks like it's really complicated driving a boat. There's all these buttons and levers. Yes, there's a lot. Whoa. Right over here, these are called a throttle. Oh, cool. And the throttle, if you push it forward, the boat goes forward. And if you pull it back, the boat goes backwards. OK, let's try it. We'll push the throttle forward. Yeah, and that makes the boat go forward, and that makes it go backwards. Okay, cool. And this is a steering wheel, very important part of the boat, and it turns the boat to the right or to the left. You Whoa. wanna try it? Yeah, I wanna try it. Here we go. I think I'm almost ready to be a captain. <laughs> well, look at this. It looks just like a steering wheel on a car, except this one's really big because <laughs> it's a really big boat. Whoa. <laughs> and what about this right here? That's the compass. That tells us what's north, south, east, and west in which direction we want to go. Whoa, that's so cool. It tells you all the different directions and where to go. <laughs> hey, and look, there's a microphone. Hello, hello. Welcome aboard, everyone. Captain Blippi. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> hey. I am so excited to see dolphins with you today. But first, I think you and I should learn more about ocean animals. Good thing I'm here with my good friend, Mackenzie Mungai. <laughs> yeah, and she's a real life marine biologist. Ooh. Uh, hi, Mackenzie. <laughs> hi. Mackenzie, what exactly does a marine biologist do? A marine biologist is somebody who studies the ocean and aims to protect it. Ooh, and what's your favorite part about being a marine biologist? My favorite part about being a marine biologist is being able to study it and educate others about the importance of protecting it so that we can ensure the longevity of our planet. Whoa! That sounds really, really important. <laughs> hey, well, we're trying to learn about ocean animals. Maybe Mackenzie can help us. <laughs> yeah! Okay, well, it looks like we have some sea creatures here. <laughs> What's this guy called? This one is a horseshoe crab, and this is my favorite animal in our touch tank today. Whoa! Can I pick him up? Of course. Yeah, okay, here we go. I'm gonna be very gentle though. Hello, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. Whoa, look at all his legs. <laughs> yeah. How many legs does he have? Whoa, hey, let's count the Horseshoe Crab's legs together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He has ten legs. Whoa. That's a lot of legs. A lot of legs. <laughs> yeah. Well, and Mackenzie, look, it looks like he has all these barnacles on his back. He does have all of these barnacles on his back. The reason that he has these barnacles is because barnacles are parasites. So they do attach to the animals in the ocean that are very slow moving. And our horseshoe crabs are pretty slow moving. So they have tons of barnacles attached to them but they're also a great health indicator because if they attach to animals in the ocean that should be moving pretty fast, mm -hmm. it's normally an indication that those animals are probably sick. Whoa, so if you see a turtle that's supposed to go really fast with barnacles, then maybe the turtle is sick and needs a doctor. Whoa, <laughs> okay, well, that's pretty cool. I like you, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. I'm gonna put you back in the water. Bye-bye. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, and Mackenzie, I think I know what this is right here. Hey, hello. <laughs> Look, this is a starfish. It is. Whoa. Look at how cool he is. His back is kind of like a greenish gray color. And his belly, whoa. His belly is the color yellow. Oh, Mackenzie. Woohoo. <laughs> He's kind of tickly. What are all these little pokey things? All of those little pokey things are called his tube feet, and that is how he will be able to move across the seafloor. Whoa, he has a lot of really cool tube feet. Here, look. 
Whoa! <laughs> okay, horse. Uh, this starfish is pretty cool, and so is the horseshoe crab. I'm gonna put them back in the tank now. Okay, bye-bye, starfish. Whoa, and it looks like there are a lot of shells in here. Whoa, there's one right here, and this one, whoa, is really <laughs> heavy. It looks kind of like a rock. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, what are these kind of shells? So this one that is heavy like a rock is a clam shell. Whoa, it's a clam shell. And, and what about this one? And this one is called a king's crown conch. And these are two different species of shells, but they're also in two separate classifications. This one has two identical matching halves, just like your hands. You put them together, it's a bivalve, <laughs> just like the clam. Whoa, and is this a bivalve too? This one's not a bivalve. This one's called a mollusk. It does not have Whoa. two identical matching halves. <laughs> Whoa, that is so cool. Bivalve, mollusk. <laughs> and this one looks like it has a king's crown on its head. King Blippi <laughs> with the really cool mollusk. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> well, these are pretty cool shells, but I'm gonna let them go back into the water. Whoa, Mackenzie, check this out. Look at this guy. It looks like he's in a mollusk shell, but he is. He's, he's not a sea snail. He's not. This is a hermit crab. And the hermit crab is different from the mollusk because the mollusk are snails, but they will also make their own homes. So Whoa. they do make their own shells. Whoa. These ones just borrow the homes from them. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hermit Crab. <laughs> He's just borrowing his home. He didn't make him himself, but he sure is pretty cute. <laughs> uh, whoa, and it looks like, yeah, it's a little pincher there. I don't want to get pinched, so <laughs> I'm going to put him back in the tank. Okay, bye-bye, Mr. Hermit Crab. Bye-bye. Woo. <laughs> whoa, Mackenzie, look at this. This is a really big shell. What kind of creature is it? This one is called a lightning whelk. Ooh. <laughs> you mind if I hold it? Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Hello, lightning whelk. Whoa. Hey, Mackenzie, is this also a mollusk? It is also a mollusk. Whoa, it's so big, just like the small mollusk. And it has one of these things, too. Uh, what's this exactly? So this is its foot but it's also called an operculum. And it's entirely made out of keratin. It's the same thing as your fingernail. Whoa, operculum. Hmm. That's a really big word, but I'll just call it the snail's foot. Yeah. <laughs> hey, a lot of these sea creatures also have feet, just like you and I. That's pretty neat. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put this guy back in the water. Whoa, it's been pretty <laughs> cool learning about all these different sea creatures. Well, Mackenzie, what are those right there? So these are sponges. Do you notice Ooh. the difference between the two of them? Well, this one right here looks kind of new. <laughs> it's the color yellow. Um, what about this one? Well, this one, hmm, it looks like a sponge, but it's a little bit dirty. It hmm. is dirty. Cool. I just found this one. This one is fresh off the beach. They are living here in Tampa Bay. And they're really great for our environment because they're able to filter hundreds of gallons of water every single day. Can you find anything out of the ordinary on this sponge? Whoa, look at this sponge. It filtered a lot of things out of the water. Look, there's some blue string and yarn, and it looks like a little piece of grass too. Whoa, that's so awesome, Mackenzie, that you found this one in the ocean. Whoa, and this one looks like someone cleaned it out, right? Yeah, exactly. So we do take our sponges, we do harvest them here in Florida, and we get them clean, and you are able to use them in the shower Ooh. or to do your dishes as well. <laughs> <laughs> or even maybe to wash your car. <laughs> wow, sponges are so cool. <laughs> Thanks so much, Mackenzie. Of course. Whoa, that was so much fun learning about all those sea creatures. And now I think it's time for you and I to look at some dolphins but we're gonna make sure that we look at the dolphins out in their natural habitat, because we always wanna be kind and respectful to all the sea creatures that we see. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I think it's time for us to go sailing! Come on! <laughs> I am so excited to set sail! <laughs> yeah! Let's go help Captain Christian undock the boat. Come on! <laughs> hey, Captain Christian. Hey, Blippi. Whoa, what are you doing? We're getting ready to untie all the dock lines and head out into the bay. <laughs> yeah! 
yeah, I am so excited to see some real dolphins. <laughs> well, what's this right here? That's a cleat. So any knot that's tied properly will be able to come undone no matter how much pressure's on it. Oh, cool. So we just push it open like this, take Whoa. it off the cleat. That was pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, this is the bow line. That means, bow means the front of the boat. And then these are the fenders, and we're gonna put those inside. These keep the boat from banging against the dock. Okay, <laughs> whoa, these are pretty big fenders. Yeah, good job. Whoa, <laughs> we All did right. it. Go ahead on board. Okay. <laughs> so Captain Christian's gonna start up the engine, and I'm gonna go look for some dolphins. <laughs> yeah! drove the boat all over the ocean, we finally found some dolphins! <laughs> yeah! Let's look! Let's see if we can spot them. <laughs> Whoa! Do you see the dolphin? Yeah! Hello! We see the dolphins! Look, it looks like they're friends! Hello, dolphins! Whoa! This is so cool! Whoa, look! They're so close! Hello! They're swimming under the boat! Look at what we found! Yeah, this is a seabird sanctuary, and it's called Bird Island because no one else is allowed to go on it. It's just for the birds. <laughs> and this island is filled with a lot of birds. Last year, over 1,500 birds hatched. Whoa! <laughs> and that's a lot of birds. <laughs> and there's all different kinds that live here. Let's see if we can take a closer look. Whoa, look at all the birds. These birds right here are really beautiful because they have really fancy feathers and they're the color white. Their names are the egrets. <laughs> and they like to nest together because mm, it keeps them safe and because they're friends. <laughs> and look, they've made little nests out of different branches and twigs so that they can put their eggs there. And after the eggs are laid, they hatch. And you have lots of little baby egrets. Ooh, so cute. Whoa. And look over here, there are also some pink birds. They're called roseate spoonbills. Hmm, let's see if we can see those. <laughs> yeah, and they're called spoonbills because their mouths or their beaks have really silly ends to them. It's kind of rounded like a spoon. <laughs> so you might eat soup, <laughs> but the spoonbills, they like to eat their food with their spoon-like beak. <laughs> yeah, and they eat all kinds of things like insects, fish, and even frogs. Ribbit, woo. <laughs> well, this is really cool thing up close. Oh, you see that? Look, it's a little baby egret. Yeah, he's sitting just under his mama. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, this bird island is really cool. Not only are there roseate spoonbills and egrets, there are also pelicans. Hmm. I don't know if I see any pelicans yet, but keep your eyes open and maybe we can spot one. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I'm gonna keep looking at the birds and see if we can find a pelican. This right here is one of the birds that lives on Bird Island. It's called a pelican. Ooh. Pelicans are really cool because when they're born, they are hatchlings. They hatch out of eggs. And they're really small, like the size of a baseball. <laughs> and they don't have any feathers, so they look kind of funny. <laughs> but after about a month, these pelicans will grow about the size of a football, start to get lots of feathers. <laughs> They're pretty amazing. Let's look. Whoa, and come here. There's even co more cool birds. Yeah, see this black bird over here? That bird is called an anhinga. Ooh, that's a tricky word to say, anhinga. 
Whoa, look, a pelican! Hello, Mr. Pelican! <laughs> well, the anhinga is pretty amazing because they dive really deep into the water to catch their food. They like to eat crabs and also fish, just like a pelican. The cool thing about the anhinga is they're really, really good at holding their breath. So when they go under water, they can catch the crabs and fish and they can hold their breath. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. And he's just hanging out in the sun. Hello, Mr. Nhinga. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I'm gonna keep seeing if I can discover any more birds. Hey, I had so much fun with you today, learning about all kinds of marine animals. <laughs> yeah, we saw dolphins and birds and all types of creatures that crawl on the sea floor. <laughs> yeah. And we saw some really cool people who did some really amazing jobs, like a captain or a marine biologist. Whoa, it was so much fun. <laughs> Seeing those dolphins in real life was amazing. <laughs> they were so cool. Whoa, look at this. It's time for a bubbles lab. And today, we're going to make an ocean in a bottle. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. So many shells, little animals. When you shake it up, whoa, <laughs> it looks like the ocean. <laughs> okay, we get to make one of our own. Start with a water bottle. And I made sure to take off all the different stickers and things that are on the outside so you can see right through it. <laughs> okay, first, we need water. So I'm gonna take one cup of water, pour it in here. <laughs> whoa, whoa, <laughs> look at it go. It's already looking like the ocean. <laughs> and we want to make it look like the actual ocean. So we're going to put a little bit of blue food coloring. Just one drop. One. And maybe we'll put a second drop. Ooh, that's just the right amount. And now we're gonna pour it in the bottle. Be really careful, this is a little tricky. Woo, we did it! <laughs> Look, all the water in the bottle. <laughs> this is so cool. Now, it's my favorite part. We have seashells <laughs> and sea creatures. Oh, <laughs> all kinds. Look, we have jellyfish. <laughs> we have, whoa, an octopus. Hmm, <laughs> they're so silly looking. Yeah, we have some crabs. crabs in, mm, yeah, let's put in a, a sea turtle. Oh, <laughs> okay, so let's grab our animals and we want to get some shells too. So just pick out whatever shells look really cool. We have a white shell. Whoa, look, this one's like a little spiral shell. Mm, and I'll just grab a couple more. Okay, now we take our shells, put them in the bottle, and now our sea creatures. Turtle, octopus, jellyfish, <laughs> and hermit crab. Bye-bye. <laughs> Once you have all your shells, animals in the water, the only thing left is we need to put in some oil. But first, I think it needs a little more water. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> That's just the right amount. And now we can put in some oil. Here we go. Whoa, <laughs> look at it go. The oil's gonna help make lots of bubbles. Because oil and water, they don't like to mix. <laughs> Almost at the top. 
almost to the top. <laughs> Whoa! We're almost done. This looks amazing. <laughs> okay, the next thing we need to do is make sure this doesn't get really messy. <laughs> we want to keep it nice and clean. So we're going to take some of this plumber's tape and I just wrap it around the top of the bottle so that no water or oil will leak out. Then you can ask a grown-up to use scissors to make a little cut. And now we can put on the cap. <laughs> and to be extra safe, we're gonna use tape. And this tape is my favorite color. It's the color orange. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use a little tape. And yeah, just wrap it around. Make sure no oil, water, get out. We don't want to mess. Okay. <laughs> then press the tape and you have an ocean in a bottle. Whoa! And my favorite part, shaking it up. Whoa, look at it. It looks like the animals are swimming around the bottle really fast in the ocean. <laughs> and the shells, they stay at the bottom, just like in real life. <laughs> this was so much fun. We made an ocean in the bottle. We saw dolphins in real life. We visited Bird Island and did so many amazing things learning about sea creatures. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do search for my name. Hey, you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. P-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Shout Flippy! Flippy.